one thing you will see in uh, Battlefield 1 is dogfight mode. Now, just like Air Supremacy in Battlefield 4, you'll be able to fight each other in your biplanes or triplanes. It'll be a total authentic experience. Uh, the planes themselves had a top speed about 145 mile an hour. Some German planes are a lot slower to a degree. So the British had the advantage towards the end of the war. Uh, the Americans getting in helped as well. Uh, so basically the Germans didn't really stand a chance but at the beginning the Germans were all over us and they were just taking us out. Um, the more renowned the German pilot got the uh, more colourful his plane would be, you know, they started off out all the same sort of colours but the, the actual designs and the customization of planes varied a lot for all the countries taking part in the battle in the skies and I do see the air supremacy as being um, fast paced but the dogfight mode in Battlefield 1 will slow it down a bit. I think it will be more accessible for new players and old players, you know. So it will be more enthusiasm for uh, people who aren't so good in the skies in Battlefield 4 to take it up in Battlefield 1. Uh, or noobs like myself. I mean, I didn't spend too much time in the air. I, I prefer to be on the ground. But I just found sometimes that the heli is a bit awkward to control. You just have to put more time in. And in this, uh, sorry about the quality, but this is the Blue Max. The dogfight mode will be exciting, and obviously if you get hit by uh, the enemy plane, there'll be a lot of damage, and it'll affect the way the plane controls and turns, and the speed of course, you'll slow it down, and you'll be able to take it out. One or two seater planes, so you know you won't die alone, <laughs> you, you'll have a gunner, so that's good, so you'll be able to shoot people in the front, and your guy will be watching your back. If he's any good, he'll be in the air for a lot longer than most people. When the plane crashes, uh, the total destruction, because I know the uh, Battlefield 1 is going to be uh, all destructive like Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2 was. So when a plane does hit the ground, there'll be a lot of mess. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And the customization is going to be great. The colours, everything, it's going to be really interesting to see what people uh, come up with if, if the customization goes that way. Or if it stays authentic, which I hope it does. Because there are lots of uh, different designs to each pilot. Uh, some of the more famed aces had unique designs to their planes because they just wanted to show hey this is my plane, this is who I am, watch out I'm gonna shoot you down. <laughs> Flying aces like George Haltman and Von Richthofen would colour their planes starting with like a lozenge camouflage and obviously the more paint they put on the plane the heavier you get because obviously these planes are built from uh, wood and fabric and it was quite fragile. Uh, the other thing about the actual camouflage is really kind of more for like um, not just showing the unit's colours but also like personal flair you know showing who they were. Ian Goering had uh, his plane coloured and the factory applied lodging camouflage was not seen as important. Hammond's plane had the death set on it for Christ's sake. <laughs> the decor was amazing. Even uh, Another second, the second highest scoring ace of the world of World War One was Ernst Hudet or Udet, Udet, I think. Uh, he painted his Fokker bright red with, uh, I think it was white stripes and huge lettering which uh, read, uh, definitely not you. <laughs> That's how cocky these uh, fighters were. One of the more renowned pilots was uh, a pilot called Goering. Yeah, that Goering, Hermann Goering. He was a really good uh, pilots uh, 21 kills his plane had cool camouflage as well and it'd be a, an excellent idea if the camouflage unlocks were actually from famous captains and officers and aces in world war one i'd like to see that uh, as i said before i think it's definitely going to be in the game that sort of stuff you know camos linked to officers and flying aces but hey we'll just see what happens anyway let me know what you think is going to be in the game in the comments below, see if you agree with me. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later.